This video shows the basic workflow in Sapphire, including data loading, model generation, improve and sensitivity options. From the Kappa Workstation Launcher, clicking on the PTA icon launches Sapphire. A new document is created by clicking on the icon labeled blank. As a first step, the reference time and time zone can be set. Information about the well and her test can be entered under the Information tab. Document units, which are by default oil field, can be defined here. The last tab provides a space for free text to allow for any user comments. In the following step, the input test parameters of the first analysis are defined. Test parameters exist at an analysis level and not the document level. The name of the analysis can be set at this stage or modified later. The reference phase for the analysis and PVT parameters are now defined. As with test parameters, the PVT is also specific to an analysis in Kappa Workstation. Advanced PVT may be defined by clicking on the bottle icon. In this example, the reference phase is oil and the PVT parameters are the default. The next step is to define the constant parameters and pseudo functions that will be used in analytical or linear numerical models. In this step, the complexity in the numerical model may be controlled. The options in the left columns are standard with Sapphire Inout. The options in the right columns are Ruby facilities and require a Ruby license. The final step is the selection of the analysis tools. These serve as the preliminary diagnostic lines on the log lot plot and can be used to arrive at initial estimates of parameters. In this example, default tools are used. Upon clicking on Create, the first analysis page is created. The basic workflow options are displayed in the control panel on the left. The first step is to load the production data. Different formats of data files are accepted. In this example, data in ASCII format is loaded. Once the file is specified, a preview is offered on the right. The load is based on an automatic recognition of the incoming data based on the defined format. Once the data is correctly mapped, it can be imported into the document. The history plot is created with the loaded rate history. The same load process is repeated for loading the pressure data. The pressure data are now shown on the history plot with the rates. The next step, the Extract Delta P option, defines the flow period to be used and analyzed. A flow period can be interactively selected in the Production Event Selection window as shown. Once the selection is validated, the log log plot is created and displays the extracted data, pressure data and Bourdais derivative and the semi-log plot displays the semi-log derivative. When a plot is maximized, additional plot-specific options appear in the ribbon at the top. The analysis tools can be changed by accessing the analysis tools dialog. In this example, the infinite conductivity fracture well model and the double porosity reservoir model are selected. The corresponding analysis tools now appear on the log lot plot. For the log lot plot, the parameter values associated with the position of the analysis tools on the plot can be viewed. The dashed blue line represents the wellbore storage, whereas the horizontal line defines the radial flow stabilization. The two black parallel lines represent the infinite conductivity fracture. Finally, the valley defines the double porosity model.
Once a satisfactory match is obtained on the data, an analytical model can be generated. The model parameters in the grid are imported from the analysis tools. Once generated, the simulation tests are simultaneously shown on the log lot, semi-log, and history plot. In order to improve the model match, a regression may be performed on required parameters. The results from the analytical model can be used for generating a numerical model. Once a numerical model is generated, an additional 3D plot is created. As seen, the fractured well model has been transferred to the numerical model without having to manually define it in the 2D map. Time-dependent result fields, for example pressure, can be played back in the 3D plot. To observe the influence of certain model parameters on the model response, different sensitivities may be run and their influence seen on the log lot or the history plot. A new plot is generated showing the model response for the input parameter values. This concludes this video on Sapphire Pressure Transit Analysis Module. To learn more about this or any other Kappa modules, browse the website for literature, more videos, and example data, or contact support at kappaeng.com or your local Kappa office.